Starting to hate your gray hair? Watch this video before you quit and diet. Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday and we are gonna go into this weekend full of inspiration, full of strength and really learning how to talk ourselves off the ledge if we are sitting in a space of not being happy with our gray hair, silver hair, grand beret hair, whatever color your hair is right now, if you are not happy, this is the best video to watch. Keep in your library because I'm going to be teaching you three tips on how to get to your final destination. So the three tips I'm going to be sharing with you are one, what are your goals? What are your goals with your gray hair journey? How do you want this process to go? Number two, what are your options? What things can you implement into your gray hair journey that are going to ease the discomfort, are gonna to get to your goals faster and make you happier along the way? And my third tip is going to be, what kind of woman do you wanna be at the end of this journey? What do you want to learn? How do you want to feel? All of these things are going to be in this video coupled with my personal experience of going gray myself. So this is a great video to watch from the beginning to end so you'll see how it builds on itself and also all of the things that I kind of did wrong or how I kind of changed my attitude to really get me to the finish line. So when we first talk about our goals, what are our goals when it comes to your gray hair journey? What are your goals with your hair in general? A lot of women all over the world went into a forced gray hair journey of March 2020. Now, when I went through my gray hair journey in 2014-15, I, I stopped dying October 2015, no one was going gray. There was not any silver communities. There wasn't Facebook. There wasn't any of this stuff. Pinterest had older women, no one my age in their 30s. I had no references and I thought, how do you do this? Or I, I'm a kind of person that needs to, if I read a book or if I wanna know about something or how to build something or how to create something, I'll, I'll research it and I'll watch videos, I'll buy a book, I'll do whatever it is because it empowers me. I have the knowledge, I know how to do it. And there was nothing for me to grasp onto. I was like, there's no one doing this. I'm doing this, oh my gosh, like, what am I doing? So I wrote a book, Beauty Reinvented. I pulled it out actually from over here um, having a little stash of these, which is such a fun read. It's fast. It's not a picture book like most gray hair. It's not about that. It's a raw, <laughs> not sugar-coated book for you to basically say, hey, I want to do this. How do I do it? And it has a cocktail in front of each chapter too, just to kind of give you an extra inspiration. But it is not, uh, ladies, you're either in or you're out. You're either going to do it or you're not. And that's in, it's, it's as simple as that. This is not an easy journey. There is a lot of factors that go in. Negative self-talk, I don't like how I look. You get very down on yourself. You look in the mirror and you say awful things to yourself. You think you're old. You think you're letting yourself go. I mean, all of the society things that come on you, re get back to your focus. What are your goals? Wow, I wanna be less stressed about dyeing my hair. I don't want chemicals in my hair anymore. I want to basically age the way I naturally would age. I wanna see what it looks like. What are your goals when it comes to your gray hair journey? Keep focusing back to that when you keep kind of derailing yourself, like, oh, this is awful, or this looks terrible. What to who? Who are you listening to? No one else is wearing your gray hair. So I don't know why people like to tell us like what they think it looks like or what they think, because it wasn't, unless you ask somebody like, hey, what do you think? It doesn't matter. So you have to think about your goals. Why don't you set 30, 60, 90 day goals? Check in with yourself. How is your hair doing? Are you getting it cut? Are you being able to say, you know what? I want a really sassy look. Over on my Beauty Reinvented private Facebook group, I have 14,000 women. I created this group because I wanted you to be connected together. I wanted you to share your selfies and share your journeys. And the ladies are so, it's so wonderful. Some ladies went pixie. Some ladies just shaved their head and said, hey, I'm doing it this way. Some ladies highlighted their hair. Some ladies did, you know, low lights and just really helped themselves through it. But there's a community of women to help you get out of your funk and say, hey, listen, snap out of it. It's hard. It's a growth period. It's not instantaneous. Now with TikTok and all of these super fast videos, everything has to be so fast. Gray hair does not grow fast overnight. It is, the, I think that's such the beauty of this journey is what you experience, how you grow as a woman. It is, it's kind of nice to be, you know, molded and 
put through things that are uncomfortable when it comes to your beauty because guess what? You get stronger. You know exactly who you are when you go through this. And it should be something that totally changes you and makes you feel alive, makes you feel beautiful because you're choosing the gray hair on your own terms. You want to do this. You're doing it. You are being bold, fierce, and unapologetic about the fact that you decided to go gray. So re go back to your goals. Have a little book and write out your goals, six month goal, a year goal, and keep to it and keep focused. My second tip is know your options. So there are a lot of options now, ladies, besides the support groups that you can join, besides all the books that you can buy on Amazon to help you through it, to be inspired. Pinterest is full of so many different grand bray, silver, gray hair. So you have a lot of inspiration, but you have a lot of options when it comes to doing things at home, such as root sprays or touch up sprays or powders, or we've talked about so many different ones on my channel that are going to help you through getting to your destination. I have hats. I have gray attitude. I have own your gray. I have, um, so for those days where you're like, oh gosh, I can't, I don't want anyone to see like my four inch roots, throw on a hat, throw on a scarf, be fun, put on glasses, put on big glasses. There's a lot of options for you that will help you kind of get through those hard days or when the days, I've had those so many times. That's why I created these hats where it's own your gray. I would tell myself, you know what? That's what I'm doing. I'm owning my gray. If I have to have a hat that I see and I wear and I just says to the world, yes, I know I'm gray and I'm owning it. I'm owning my gray. That's what I did. I also did, did different things where I, you know, remember this was 2015. There was nothing for me to use on my hair that would help with, I had this silver and then I had all the black dye. I went to Sally's and I bought this like, it was like a platinum spray. And I thought this will be great. Like I'll just spray it on and it'll make it look like there's really no demarcation line. So I would spray it on and oh my gosh, it would be like a glitter. It was like, all I saw, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm highly flammable right now because all I see is like this big like cloud. It was obviously very bad for the environment. So I stopped using it, but it was like glitter that would just fall. And I'm like, but it really didn't do anything. Like I had glitter everywhere. <laughs> it's like, what did I just do? So I, I, I'm almost like embarrassed to say like there was nothing really that I could do to help with the demarcation. So I, I switched my attitude towards it where I was like, this is kind of cool. Like no one else has this demarcation. No one else has this like waterfall of silver and then the black. And that's when I really came into the thought process of it's like the new me's coming and like the old me's just disappearing. The old you just kind of is leaving and you have the new you coming in. And that's how I looked at it. I think women are just tired of being conformed and being told that you have to dye your hair until the day you die. I mean, I don't really understand who made that up and why we just started to believe it. So I did feel rebellious. I did feel like no one's doing this. It's a hair color. I mean, that's really what it is. Like all that, in it, it would almost look like the dyed black hair was like dry and just dehydrated and it didn't have a place in my life anymore. And it was really cool. I was almost like, oh, I can't wait until it, this goes away. So I kept getting it cut. I kept having Michael cut it shorter and shorter so we could just get rid of the dye. And it was really, it was, a, it was an exciting experience when you change your attitude, when you're like, you know, this is kind of cool. Like what a weird pattern or what's my hair doing? I thought it was going to be all white and it's black in the back and it's, you know, white in the front. And I've said to you before in some of my videos, my husband said to me one day, I mean, it literally came out of nowhere. He's like, you know what your hair is like? It's like geriatric in the front and party in the back. And I, I literally was like, what did, what did you just say? He's like, yeah, like, yeah. And I was like, we're not talking for a very long time. That is like so rude. <laughs> it was like, it's just fine. But, so you have to have a sense of humor. And I've always said that. I, I sound like a broken record, but you really do. You've got, you've got to say, you know what? He's right. Like, this is fun. Like, I'm, you know. And I started, you know, liking the comments of Carilla DeVille. I'm like an iconic Disney character. Amazing. Like, no one, how, who could do that? Who could actually have that naturally happening? Change your your options or change your your inner dialogue and know your options when it comes to so many different products to help you through this journey now we didn't talk about 
if you really wanted to go different and you wanted to do a wig and kind of see what different colors look like, maybe you're like, okay, I'm going gray, but maybe I want to be really be blonde. So I'm going to put on a blonde wig. I actually found a picture recently in my phone when I was thinking to myself, I just want to be, you know, blonde and I want to see what that would look like. It would kind of remind me or give me an option of how I would look gray. So know that know that there's so many different things that are going to really support you and it's going to be a very exciting time because you have to switch your attitude you have to just stop looking at it as what society says to you that it's old and that it's dull and it's not attractive and no one wants to hire you and no one wants to date you i'll get to tell you what i have more attention with gray hair than i ever did with black hair i've heard that from every woman that I have come in contact with that has gone great. We say the same thing to each other. And it is a tribe of silver women. And when I see women out, we are attracted to each other because we have the we know the journey. We know it's it is a rebellious thing to do, to, <laughs> which is so strange to age naturally, to age and just be like, "Hey, this is me. I'm not I'm not doing anything. I'm not, you know, again, ladies, please remember that it is not you don't have to let your hair go gray. You could rock your fierceness at 85 with dyed hair. I have it all over my fierce aging. I, you know, I, had, I had on women that are in 84 and still dye their hair. Who cares? This is about just allowing yourself to be who you are if you want to do that. There are no limitations. Stop putting yourself in a box and saying, I can't do this, I can't do that, it's not gonna look good on me, I don't wanna do it. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. If you wanna do it, dive in deep and be free. Be free and say, I'm gonna embrace this experience for everything it has to offer me. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna see how I like it. If I don't like it, I'll die of all these options. You're not stuck in one box where if you do it and you can't turn back, you could always turn back. And my third tip is figure out what's gonna work for you. What's gonna work for you? Whether it is cutting your hair, putting it back into a bun for six months, putting on a hat, putting on a scarf, you know, maybe it's getting, just going and dyeing your hair gray. Maybe you wanna do that. I know a lot of women that really just want that instantaneous gratification. There are a lot of things that go along with that. It's not as easy as just going to the salon and getting your hair dyed all gray. I actually was just speaking to Michael, my stylist, about that this morning because I had said that when I was going. I was like, can you just can you just strip out all of the black dye? And he's like, your hair will turn orange, Nicole. It's going to be terrible. Do not do it. I said, okay, let's just keep cutting. So that was, you know, he, he's like, it's just so damaging to to strip the hair and to try to like, you know, cheat around just this growing out process and i just you know really feel that the woman you are when you start your gray hair journey is completely different to the woman you are when you complete your gray hair journey so from the beginning to the end you dramatically change you are a very very interesting person along the way there's so many ups and downs there's definitely a lot of crying and a lot of you know i don't know if i can do this or i feel so ugly today or what have you remember post-its on your window uh, on your window post-its on your vanity and your mirror give you that inspiration i am bold i am fierce i am beautiful i can do this the lipstick i'm wearing today is figure it out and i thought it was so perfect because i was like i'm gonna figure this out i gotta just figure this out and that, that's like a mantra of mine where it's like when i don't know how to do something or i'm in the middle of something and i'm like oh gosh i'm like figure it out i just gotta figure it out that's what you're doing with your gray hair journey you're figuring it out ladies it is exciting it is fun i've always said this on my channel because you are becoming the woman that you were really meant to be. And this is, I'm speaking to women that want to do their gray hair. I always feel like I have to, to say this because I don't want you to feel that you, you, if you, you always have to fall into the box of gray hair. You don't. You don't. At, at, women are celebrated no matter what hair color they have. This is just a movement of women that want to do something different. And it's not always accepted and it's not always easy because of all of the society, the beauty industry, and the fashion industry. I mean, they're, they're very big influences on the, the reason why women are afraid to age and afraid to just you know come out and be like, okay, this is who I am. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with aging? There's nothing wrong with aging, ladies. It's to be celebrated. We know that. And the funny thing is, is that we are all aging. I don't know why everybody pretends like we're not aging. Like the fashion industry and the beauty industry want to like, you know, make us stare at 
girls that are teenagers and think that we're going to look like that. It's just so odd to me. It's such a disconnect. So be inspired by other women that are making the bold move. Join a private Facebook group and say, you know what? These women are really, wow, they're really staying positive on and the days that I really need this. I'm going to check in and I'm going to be uplifted. I'm going to give, I'm going to infuse that inspiration into myself today. You know, really, really understand what you are allowing to come into your space when it comes to your beauty, comes to your aging, comes to your hair and your decisions about your, uh, your own beauty. You make the rules, you make the decisions, and you go forth with that attitude of, I, yes, I can. Actually, I can. So ladies, I have great videos if you go through this video that you can watch in your library from other women in my Fierce Aging series that are great. They're coming up next. You can see those. And until my next video, I'll see you later.